Davido is investing big this time around and then they are having Puma Davido's uh, event in the New York City and a lot of people are really excited about that. That is a business event but before I dive into it and tell you the reason why the likes of Davido is really investing, I want you to understand that you are really welcome to Afrobeat blog. I thank you for always coming out, you know, watching my videos, sharing my videos across social media platforms. But if you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. Yes, you got to understand about this whole industry thing and a lot of people are really out there just watching for the time you go fall down and that is what they are really watching. I got to understand that, you know, artists of the O's, most of them, they didn't invest their money when they were at uh, their prime and that really affected a lot of them. That is why you find out that when most of them fall sick, they are quick to really uh, beg for money from the public so that they can take care of themselves and a lot of others are really living very poor to understand. But we need to talk about why artists need to actually invest. But before we dive right into that, I want you to understand that a person of Rema has gotten uh, five times platinum certification in the US with his calendar remise featuring Selena Gomez. That is what it is right here. And a lot of people are really excited and happy for Rema and the win he has accomplished within a period of time. That is something I believe about all of this story and some people are really happy about that. But on the take of Rema, I will say that, you know, a lot of us actually expected that Rema will surpass or uh, his benchmark with his new album his but i think that his album is not getting that big vibe in terms of uh, international attention right now that is something i kind of understand although he's climbing up chart in the uk rc you know struggling to be on chart in the us but somehow a lot of people are really comparing this his album to his um you know previous album that is uh, uh rave and roses album that was really fantastic to an extent getting a lot of certification for that that album or one of his song in that album was able to get five million units in the us and that is a huge big number and we have to celebrate Rema for it. What do you have to say about the story of Rema? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can have a take on this particular issue. Davido has announced uh, a kind of uh, event or uh, the event of uh, Davido and Puma collection in NYC on October 1st, which is today Independence Day in Nigeria. And a lot of people are really excited at that, saying that, yes, it's good that Davido start investing in all of this because you are not going to stay on top of music forever and earn a lot from music. But you need to fall back to your investment plans and the rest. That is one thing I got to understand, you know, from Davido. And Davido is from a family of billionaire and his father has made huge investment for him him already but he needs to add up into what his father has built for him that is something i can say about this and he made this announcement on twitter a lot of people are really responding to that and that event is going down what are your own takes about this don't forget to put your own comment in the comment section so that you can have a glimpse of the story so far yes why an artist should invest these are some of the things i need to really really let you know about all of this because a lot of people are really talking about the investment of uh, you know most of these big artists and somehow i listened to alibaba where he spoke about investment to an extent i got to understand from his own story he spoke about an artist buying lavish uh, you know kind of uh, things and uh, luxury things you know to live lavish and the rest but somehow some persons are really condemning him while some other persons are really getting to understand his own point of view and he spoke about you know banks in nigeria not helping 
been a lot and then give an instance of Ashake, you know, going to the bank to say, I want a loan of one billion naira just to like, you know, organize a concert at the O2 Arena in UK. I'm going to pay back so, so time. But the bank would prefer to give that loan to a car importer who will not sell the car in one day that is something i got to understand because when you check the life of an artist that guy will sell out his ticket on that day of that event and that is going to be always a massive revenue for any institution that loan uh, such an individual number one reason why an artist should actually invest is financial security when you talk about financial security it's better for an artist to secure his future financially that is one thing i got to understand about this whole thing because when you look at it from that dynamic point of view uh, some people we always understand from what we've seen so far you know a lot of people uh, who used to be on the prime at the time spending lavish you know coming out to beg for money and all those kind of things that is something we got to understand about all of this and this is helping to actually shape the artist's future and how he's going to live his or her life. That is something I got to understand about all of this. But what is your own take about these kind of things? I want you to put your own comment in the comment section so that you can have a take on what you feel so far. Creative freedom is another need for an artist to actually invest because you'll be needing money to fund your project and to fund your creativities and the rest. So you have to invest a lot of money in other things so that you can draw or pull out money from there to express yourself creatively that is something i got to understand about all of this you know uh, most of the times in nigeria a lot of artists projects are really self you know kind of sponsored that is something i got to understand from you know recording in the studio and then mixing producing and the rest and also shooting your music videos which runs into millions that is something i got to understand about all of this so investment for an artist will easily help the artist to express himself creatively because uh, with a limitation of funds, you cannot really express yourself better at the end of the day. Passive income, you know, investment will serve as passive income for an artist, you know, outside his active, uh, you know, life as an artist to understand. That is something I got to understand about this big story at a time like this. And a lot of people are really responding to that. And this is really getting louder at the end of the day and somehow some people are saying that passive you know kind of income means is really needed for an artist to fund the lifestyle of that artist tax benefit is one of the major benefit of artist investing you know or somehow there's what they call tax deductions you know or uh, there are some things that are left out not de deducted on or uh, because of uh, you know uh, investment and the rest an artist who invested in some kind of properties and the rest decide to register his own personal properties and cars under his investment uh, names sometimes they will really really lower this kind of uh, tax on those things because they serve as investment and they are helping to create jobs for other people that is something i got to understand about all of this what are your own takes about this story don't forget to put your own comments in the comment section so that you can have a take on this before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos